Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a couple of really easy ways to colour in the badges that we made in a previous video. If you want to check out that video, I'll put a link in the description box below. So we're just going to move over to the badges as we left them. Here they are. And we'll start with just colouring this badge in one colour. So we just select the whole thing, come up to Object, Expand Appearance, and then Object, Expand. And just make sure that Object, Fill and Stroke are selected and press OK. So now we're going to come to our Magic Wand tool, select the black, and now all of the black has been selected. So we can just come up to any swatch that we want and change the colour. And now we can see it's been coloured in completely in another colour. So it's really, really quick and very simple. So now we'll do multiple colours and we're just going to select each individual stroke and fill and change them. So this has been grouped so I'm just going to ungroup it and now select the first circle and just come up to my swatch library and choose a colour. So now we'll come to the next circle. This one is a, a stroke so we'll just select stroke and change the colour again. Now here we've got another stroke that we need to change so we've got our stroke selected and I'll choose this colour. Now I want to change the white here as well so I'm just going to select that white fill and change it to this colour here and then the last one we want to change to the same colour as the circles which is this colour and that's just so that the circles disappear and you end up with the cog effect. So that was a really, really simple way of just doing a multicolor image in Illustrator. So now I'll show you how to do that drop shadow effect that we had at the beginning of the video. Just select the outside circle, come up to Effect, Stylize, Drop Shadow, and I've got the mode at Multiply Opacity of 100%, seven pixels on both axes and a blur of five and just press preview so that you can see how it will look. I'm happy with that so I'll press OK. So it's a really really simple way of making the badge sort of leap off the page a little bit and just look a little bit more interesting. So there you have it, really really simple ways of colouring in these badges and they're pretty effective as well. If you found this interesting or helpful please don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and good luck with your colouring and thank you for watching.